Hey, it's Pat here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how I made this thumbnail, the thumbnail that you clicked on in less than five minutes. Obviously, it worked on you or else you wouldn't be here, but I gotta say, it looks pretty good, and it doesn't take much to put it together, so let me show you. Step one, you wanna take a photo of yourself posing. Now, you could sit there for hours trying to get the perfect pose. Nope. Nope. Definitely not. Or you can use this little trick, that'll save you hours. Okay, maybe not hours, but a lot of minutes. Now we're here on my desktop and as you can see, there is a video capture situation going on. You don't have to do this on your computer. You can actually just have a video camera. And again, video being the key word. In the highest resolution possible, you'll want to record yourself making a bunch of different poses. It's gonna look really silly, but I'm gonna do it right in front of you right now so you can see exactly how it works. And I'm using Ecamm Live to do this because it's just really easy. I love the tool and it's actually used for live streaming, but I'm using it for the thumbnail generation purposes as well. And this is actually how I do my thumbnails. So I'm gonna hit record and it's recording right now. I'm gonna put this mic away because I don't want it in the frame and just hang tight. Watch me for 10 seconds. Okay, I think that's good enough. A little embarrassing because you're watching the whole thing happen, but I'm here to show you how the magic works. Finish, and as you can see, if I hit end recording, it's going to bring up, here we go, show file. I'm gonna show that file, I'm gonna open this, and this is the video that was just being played, and I'm gonna shrink it just a little bit, and now I'm gonna scrub through this until I find the right pose. Here, we, here it is, watch. Is it that one? No, I wanna be in the other direction. This is why I do it both ways. There we go, there, there. Do I like myself looking or looking at the camera? Maybe like that. Um, let's try a little bit more. Nope, okay, that's it. There, that's the one right there. That's the one I want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a screenshot of this. And the way you might take a screenshot is different for what operating system you use, Windows or Mac. I'll put some instructions below. But I'm gonna take a screenshot just like that. And then I'm gonna use a tool called Canva that you can check out. Check it out at patflin.com slash Canva. And here I am in Canva. Hey, uh, I just had to cut in really quick because the tool that I'm about to share with you, first of all, Canva is free to use, but there's a particular tool that I'm using here in this demonstration that I didn't know was a part of the pro plan. Now, if you're gonna be doing thumbnails all the time and removing backgrounds and stuff, uh, it would definitely be worth it. But I just wanted to be upfront with you in case you were looking for an absolutely free way to do this. Now, you can still use Canva to create the thumbnail. You'll just have to find a way to remove the background from your own self. And there are lots of apps and other things that can do that. Canva can do that for you, but in the pro option, and it's just easier. I use this thing every single day, actually. But I just wanted to be upfront and let you know. Anyway, let's get back to the tutorial. So I'm gonna go and click on create a design. I already set up an account and I'm going to edit photo. And now I'm gonna upload that screenshot that I just took, which automatically gets placed into my Dropbox folder. And there it is right there. I'm gonna hit edit photo. And now I need to give it a minute because it's uploading. You can see the upload here on the left-hand side. It's like a little wave. It should be done in three, two, and one. There we go. Now I can click on edit image. And you'll see here there's a BG remover. That stands for background remover. I'm just gonna click that. And what is really cool about Canva is this remover does a really good job of finding faces and bodies to then remove the background from. There we go, just like that. Now, if I save it as is, I mean, it's gonna save automatically in Canva, that's really cool, but I wanna actually download this as a transparent file. Right now, it just kind of whitened out the background. I wanna hit download and hit transparent background and hit download. All right, we got it there. It's Untitled Design 1. I should probably have named this, but I'm just moving fast here for you. Next, I'm gonna go back to the home page of Canva, and I'm gonna click the search and go to YouTube Thumbnail. And there we go. This is a template gallery for yourself if you wanna choose from any of these designs. But I'm gonna get this guy out of here, and now all I have to do is bring in the photo that was just downloaded. So I'm gonna go to Uploads here, you can see the original file here, but I'm gonna click Upload Media because I want the transparent version. Untitled Design 1, it's uploading right now, and there it is, and I'm just gonna drag and drop this over to the canvas here. And I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. The blue shirt does definitely stand out on the red background. And I can choose from a bunch of different backgrounds, but here we go, the most attractive thumbnail. That's not what I want. I want how I made this thumbnail 
a little bit too big there. So I'm going to decrease the font. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna move it down just a tad. There we go. Let's click on thumbnail and I'm gonna put uh, how I made this thumbnail in five, in less than five minutes. It's a little bit big. I'm gonna shrink it just a little bit and I'm going to move it around. All right. Now, as you can see, my fingers are blocking it a little bit and I do wanna see in five minutes, which I can see there. So I'm gonna make sure that I click on my face there. I could probably make this a little bit larger, actually. The beauty of this is I can play around with it a little, right? I can create different versions that maybe I could split test using TubeBuddy. I'm gonna make this super large and just see what happens here. Actually, this one actually looks a little bit better because my face is taking up more of the screen. If I wanna add a shadow, I can just go to search effects and go shadow and add a shadow around your image. I can use this. We can go a little bit of a glow. Actually, a drop shadow, yeah, there we go. I need to make this a little bit bigger, but look, notice the shadow there. That wasn't there before. All right, so that's all it took. And all I need to do is go to download. And I don't need the transparent background for this one, but I'm gonna save it as a JPEG. And it looks like it's ready to go. I'm gonna hit download. And there it is. That's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe because I got more tips for you coming your way to help you as a creator.